Hello, my name is Dulcinea Herrera and I am a painter and body artist and I'm also a sophomore at UMKC. My dad is Nats Calero Apache, so I grew up in New Mexico. Um, I partially actually became an artist because of my grandpa, who was like, he was like a second dad to me, helped raise me. He was an amazing artist and um, he lived there in New Mexico with him. So I grew up partially on a reservation and at night where we lived, the sky was like super, super, it, you could see the Milky Way, it was so beautiful. And I just remember seeing sunsets and the stars all at the same time, so I painted it. Him and the reservation had a lot to do with it. Native Americans are really creative people and we lived really far away from cities. So there wasn't a lot to do for a kid, you know, other than just playing outside. So I had to find stuff to do. And so I started to paint. We were actually very poor growing up, so we couldn't afford to get art classes or anything like that. I don't paint like every day. There's some people who love it so much they do it every day. Sometimes I won't do it for like a few months and then I just see something that inspires me and I like rush home and I'm like, I gotta do it and I do it and then I finish it. Um, and sometimes I work on things for like sporadically throughout a year, kind of just depends. I'd say I usually see something that inspires me and then I do it. Um, so I like to go to the Nelson a lot because there's a lot of like cool stuff there and you just look around it. There's gonna be something that kind of makes you quick. This is one of my paintings I made about a year ago and it's just with oil and acrylic and it's like a heart erupting. <clears throat> I got my heart broken last year so that's why I painted it. <laughs> and then um, I have all these mirrors in it. So whenever someone looks at it, they can kind of relate to it so they can see themselves within it. Maybe someone's gotten their heart broken through a loss of a family member or actually somebody but it kind of represents like loss. This painting right here, I painted a few months back and it kind of represents gun violence. Anyone can really look at this and see whatever they feel. These are kind of like a series that I do. And what they are is they're acrylic, but they're on records. So I just go to a record store and whatever records they're gonna throw out, they'll like sell to me or give to me for like 50 cents, really cheap. And I just paint on them. I like to do a lot of fluid acrylic. And the reason I like them is because they're actually like, they look hard to paint, but they're super easy. Um, it's almost like a chemistry thing. You just mix paint and pour it over. It's really beautiful. The inspiration comes from my grandfather. He was such an amazing artist. Um, so I, I like credit him for that and then um yeah sometimes sometimes i just paint abstracts and i like it just as much as the ones that may come from my culture or something really meaningful um it really just depends on what i'm feeling like that day i do body um art as well as painting um I really like body art, even though it comes off and it's like, oh, I did all this work. <laughs> it's like so beautiful on a person and to see their reaction when they're wearing it and they feel like super beautiful in their own skin with different colors that represent them is really awesome. Throughout my life, I will always paint and do body art. Um, I just love it. But, um, the thing about art is it's sometimes a hit or miss. What I'm doing right now is marketing, which is actually very artsy, like advertising. It's very creative. So I feel like I still am doing art in a sense. It may not be painting, but it is still artistic. Um, so in a way, like, I will be doing it, yeah, for the rest of my life. But painting-wise, I'll always paint as a hobby, but I don't think I'd ever do it um, every day because... I don't think I'd like to do it every day, actually. I think I might go crazy if I did it every day. Um, but it is so much fun, and I love it. It's great. I think it's a great outlet for people. Like, in times of distress <clears throat> and depression, 
I feel like whenever I paint, I feel so much better. I feel so relieved.